<laughs> Hi friends, thanks for watching our video today. Before you finish up, please remember to subscribe and click the bell. Well today is clean up, fix up, and shape up day at Papa's Place. We're going to wash the truck, we're going to build a carport, and we're going to have fun doing it. <laughs> well, we're doing a little clean up today. And uh, it starts with that dirty old pickup that I found when I came back from Arizona. Got the water hooked up and got a bucket full of suds and uh, got some chemicals all out to do some work on it. And we'll see how much I can clean it and shine it up. <laughs> I'm not saying I'll use all those chemicals, but I'll be using some of them. <laughs> Well, I've had this old pickup since 2012. It's a 2006 model. I bought it in Texas, so it's a Texas truck, and it's taken me all over the great state of Texas. I wanted. I had moved down to Texas, and I lived with my son for almost a year. I went down there because a friend of mine up here in Washington owned a business, and he wanted some help establishing a customer market down in the Dallas Fort Worth area so I went down to do that and I bought this truck to help me in that process because I had to carry equipment around that I was in the process of selling for him but it's been a good truck so when I moved back to Washington I drove the truck back here in fact I drove pretty much straight through 2600 miles approximately in about, uh, what was it, uh, 42 hours, I think it was. So I was flying, and the truck has performed flawlessly the whole time I had it. And when I came back this time from Arizona, all I had to do was to charge the battery, and it fired right up, even with year-and-a-half-old gas in it. So just got to wash the mold off, and I got my nice truck back. <laughs> well, I'm making a carport. A truck port. You fill these buckets up and attach them to the awning. Attach them to the frame of the awning and pull them taut. Not tight, but taut. And then when the wind blows, it just keeps the awning right in place. I learned that down in Arizona. We had 30 and 40 mile an hour gusts, and it didn't move at all. So it doesn't feel as sturdy as I'd like for it to be. I may have to get something else here. Well, that's kind of uh, where I'm going with this uh, carport idea and this uh, cheap little canopy. Uh, but uh, I've got more finish work to do on it. The idea, but uh, I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm going to quit for today. <laughs> more coming. <laughs> Well, here at Papa's Place, we've got an old-fashioned gully washer going on. Big old bad thunderstorm, lightning, and Bandit doesn't like it, do you, Bandit? No, Papa, I don't like it. I want to just hide underneath the table here in your lap, and, and I'm shaking, and I can't stop shaking. Yeah, I know. It's kind of scary. We just had a big bolt of lightning that just crashed. Probably hit a tree right here in uh, at Clear Lake. Uh, it, and the thunder was just immediately <laughs> with the lightning. It was crazy. The, uh, the rain has just been pouring down. This, uh, this storm is as bad as any uh, that I've seen when I lived in Texas. The only difference being this one seems to be only lasting maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And the ones in Texas would go on for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> ah, well, I hope, uh, hope it dries out a little bit later on today <laughs> i've got got some work that i'd like to get done <laughs> it is pouring down rain hear that thunder
Wow, that was a long crack. It's pouring down rain. <laughs> this is camping in Washington State. Sometimes. <laughs> Well, I certainly enjoyed my time in Arizona and in Slab City, California. It was uh, an unusual trip this time because I'd never been to Slab City before and Slab City is a pretty unusual place. But it was getting really hot. The day I left it was about 108 and uh, when I first got there it had been raining some but by the time I left I hadn't seen rain in weeks. So coming back up here to my home base, Papa's Place, I've really enjoyed the rain even and the cooler weather. And if you're a Washingtonian and uh, you just insist on going camping in this kind of weather, all you got to do is build the fire a little bigger. <laughs> This is uh, one of the little advantages of having this uh, Girard awning, automatic awning. It, uh, it's push button and uh, it just goes all the way out eight feet. Keep pushing the button. But you can also put it out just a couple of feet like it is to give you uh, a little... Uh, rain cover and uh, it doesn't fill up with water so badly that it gets so heavy and it uh, breaks apart like most awnings would when you got to put them out the full eight feet so I'm real thankful for that well I kind of like what this uh, awning is doing here with my pickup uh, it's uh, a little too lightweight, I think, for a permanent structure, a permanent portable structure for me, especially when I, uh, I go traveling and I leave it here all by itself. But uh, I think what it's, by putting this up yesterday, I think what it's done is it's convinced me that what I'm going to do is uh, flatten out this area here because it's kind of leaning right to left and uh, I'm gonna get a, uh, a more heavy-duty portable awning for it or actually they call them garages or carports I guess and uh, I'm gonna put it in here Well, one of my next projects, now that I'm feeling a little bit better, and when the rain stops, is to uh, get this boat out of the woods here and get it uncovered and cleaned up and get it ready to uh, do some fishing in. Bought this thing about six years ago or so. Never had it in the water. <laughs> I think that's going to change this summer. Well, Bandit, what do you think of all of this weather out here and the lightning and the thunder? Well, Papa, I don't know. That, that thunder's a little bit scary, and, and it makes me shake, and, and I'd really like to go outside and sniff around and, and pee on some bushes and, and look for some squirrels. But you know what? It's just too wet. That water gets into my fur, and I just don't like it so much. It makes me cold. All right, well, you just lay right there and relax then. You and me, buddy, we'll just stay in here and stay dry and warm. Got the heaters going, got my stove going, 
I don't know. I haven't shown my stove in a while. Have you seen this before? Yeah, so what do you think? See the red down at the very bottom? It's got a nice heating element, uh, your choice of uh, 1,000 watts or 1,500 watts. And then it's got this uh, nice comforting fire look to it, which operates separately. If you don't want the heating unit on, you just want the, the fireplace look, uh, that's, you, can, you can do that. You can operate them separately. But I kind of like it. makes the RV real homey. <laughs> oh, poor Bandit. He was so scared. But the lightning and thunder didn't last too long. Never does in Washington. So we got some projects done today, and we're happy about that. Now you remember to subscribe and click the bell, won't you please? That'll help the channel to grow. <laughs>